What is up guys, Osnercho here, opening this first wave of the new Power Rangers Legacy line. So this is um, the set for this year, the newest line. Like I said, I don't know exactly what to call it because it's all mix and match sort of stuff. But here's just an example of some of the stuff. Then we have a couple more stuff we're going to look at. I just couldn't get it to fit all on the table here. So we have some new Zords, some helmets, and then some new figures and stuff that we'll go through. But we'll go ahead and just open each one and show them kind of off. And like I said, this is just like the first wave of stuff to come out this year for the Legacy Collection. So let's go ahead and look at each one of them and then um, just kind of see what's going on with it all so we'll start with the t-rex and then just kind of move along so we'll go and start there first and so first up here we have the legacy collection t-rex zord so this these are the new zords that they're coming out with i think they're kind of cool sorry he can't fit all the way in the screen he's kind of too big there we'll squat him down a little um, so you can see him better so this is like i said the first um set of the line that they're doing i thought when these first came out one that they well i think they're cool anyways but I thought this was going to be something bigger and better than what they are. But it's still cool for what they are though. So these are all plastic. So usually with the Legacy Collection line they like to do metal. But these are just all plastic here. So there's like no metal at all. Um, except for possibly you no know, inside stuff. But there, everything is made of plastic here. And then too since they're making these bigger Zords. Um, as you can see they're kind of like bigger and more detailed and everything. That they'd be kind of like they did with the Power Ranger movie. And I had read that originally. Like of course it was online stuff. So can't really you know tell if stuff's real or fake or anything but um it was said that you know these would be like the power or the movie versions where you buy the zord and individually and then they're bigger and stuff and then you can combine combine them all together into one big mega zord and so when i first saw i was like oh my god that's gonna be so cool and so i really wanted these and then upon getting them and seeing stuff about them and everything they actually don't do that so this is all you get is just a zord it's like a zord action figure and that's all it is. It doesn't transform or do anything else at all. I, just for some comparison real quick, I went ahead and got my, I think it was the 2009 or 10 um, Power Ranger Megazord when they like re-released Power Ranger on TV and, or Mighty Morphin Power Rangers stuff on TV. They released, you know, toys and stuff for it. And so this is um, the Zord, the T-Rex Zord to it and stuff. So you can kind of see um, how they're different stuff and how much more details put in. Now I can't get this big one to stand up properly. Um, how much more detail they put into it and of course the bigger size altogether. And I chose this one because this one's plastic compared to the Legacy version that was metal. I just wanted to get it. So this is all plastic and this is all plastic and you can kind of see some of the comparisons the color differences and all that and of course this one transforms so you can pull its arms up you know put the head down in and stuff to reveal the uh, megazord head and stuff there where this one does not this doesn't do anything like you can open it's got a lot of articulation though um so you can open its mouth so you know can be like a t-rex getting ready to chomp stuff so there's the back of what would be the megazord's head here the two like horn things but they don't move so we can move his head up and down it can rotate because that's like i said one thing is the articulation so with the arms they can move up and down and then the hands twist so if you had some sort of weapon and stuff and they're on like a ball joint so it can kind of rock and stuff and then rotate and all that then we have like a twisting of the midsection here so like the upper section can like twist around you can only go this way you can't and you can turn that way but you can't turn the other way for some reason it's like stuck there so probably just so you can like you know um, turn it this way if you wanted to or something like that I don't know but I think that's kind of funny so you maybe do like some action with the claws and you're like oh, God, I like that um, so it's got that then we got legs so it's got articulations in the hips the knees and then the feet are like the hands so they can twist and they're kind of like on a ball joint so they can like twist around and stuff so they both do that and then on the tail we have a little bit of movement at the top of the tail and then midsection it's like uh, then two segments out here we have another segment that moves another two segments uh, another one that moves and stuff so it's just kind of got some articulation in the tail compared to you know to the old one where it's just a solid straight tail that can't move so it's more reminiscent of like the dragon zord here in the tail um so pretty much for the zord that's pretty much all it can do like the chest doesn't open to do anything but it does have a hole in the back that you can open up there so you can see inside i don't know if you can see with the light but it's just empty in there i thought that you you know make it look like the zord or like when their rangers are inside the zords because that's what you do so they each come with these little tiny rangers which don't have a lot of movement like i think yeah they have elbow movements and shoulders there 
head stays the same, body stays the same, and the legs can just bend like this. They don't have a whole lot of action to it, so of course you can make them like sit down and stuff and then they just sit into the back of the zord here and then sit it so it's you know like oh now they're inside the zord you know controlling it and stuff like they do in the show but i like i said i wish on the inside they made it look you know like the zord like i don't think you can even see in there with the lighting and stuff but it's just hollow it looks like you know the opposite sides so just solid color plastic in there nothing special at all which kind of stinks and i wish that would have been a lot cooler but that's it for the T-Rex Zord. Then in similar fashion, we have the Sabertooth Tiger Legacy Collection Zord. So again, this is just another action figure thing. It doesn't transform or do anything, unfortunately. And then just for some size comparison, once again, here's the Sabertooth Tiger from that place, from that same Megazord, the plastic one. Just so you can get, they're pretty much the same length almost, they're very close. It's just that the saber tooth lower to the ground, it doesn't have a whole lot of movement compared to what we'll see with this one. So again, this is pretty much the same as the T-Rex. Um, it has a lot of movement, so you can see this time it has a body joint, so it can like whip its um, back and back and forth. Here's the tail that's usually, you know, folded up, which I don't know, yeah, it does fold up there. So that's usually how it does in the um, Zord action. So by that, by that end, it kind of looks like it could connect with the t-rex zord i don't know like it'll be funny if at the end um once all the zords come out we find out they do all connect somehow and it's just not noticeable of how they connect but um that's usually you know how the tail folds up so you can fold it down and then fold the tail down like that and so then in articulation again it's got the um, knee joints on all its legs so it can kind of have more movement going on there then it's got um what be hips uh, for the saber tooth there as well and again feet on the same kind of like ball joint type thing so it can move all around and of course this is usually like the wheel so when it's folded up which I don't even know if this thing will fold up since the legs move like that it kind of makes me feel it does but you you know it sits and it rolls or whatever with all the legs going up then in the front we have the same sort of thing so it's got the shoulder joints the would be knee joints and then of course the feet as well on a little bit of a ball movement and then the head goes up and down as well and then it doesn't twist or anything you get the mouth that can open so we have the teeth there of the saber tooth that look kind of cool and so yeah it can just like talk to us it's like hello everybody um so it can talk to you and all that sort of stuff and then on the back we have a little hatch here so you can pull on the little tab up and it opens up to see inside the cockpit so you see it's just nothing in there it's just all designed and you can take the little yellow ranger so again it's like the red one has elbow joints and shoulders can move and then the hips can move forward so you can take it sit it down inside there and close it up and so now trainee is inside controlling the saber tooth tiger to make it attack and it's going to attack you it's like type that. um so that's kind of cool like i said i like these zords a lot um but i wish they all went together because it'd be a lot easier to like storm you know to put them all in the megazord form just to add them all together but now i have to have five individual zords and then who knows if they make um, any of the other zords like I assume they'll make a dragon zord possibly a white tiger zord and you know they could do like um, tight or tightness or whatever and stuff just all sorts of zords they could do like this just individually but that's it for the um, zords of the legacy collection then these are kind of just small things but these are the new helmets so they're doing like uh, little mini helmets that you can use as a display so here's the white ranger helmet which i think is cool they did the white ranger start out with because they haven't made the white ranger in the legacy collection helmets yet of like actual side to scale ones they just came out with the green one which i don't have yet and i'm hoping to get soon but you never know with money and stuff but we have the White Tiger or White Ranger Zord here, of course, which is the White Tiger Zord. And I just think it looks cool. They put in all the details and stuff of the helmet and everything. It's got the little latches here, of course, that you undo those. And the helmet spreads open, which, of course, on this, it doesn't do anything. It just kind of sticks on this pe um, like pe uh, pedestal type thing it's on. And so it doesn't move or do anything. Like, they've made little helmets like these before, like little tiny ones. And you could take them off at least, but this one, they're just stuck on there. And like I said, so I like they put the enough details details in to do the latches and everything would go along with it then we have the base here and as you can see it's hard to see with the lighting but it says mighty morphin white ranger and so of course that's the white ranger from mighty morphin power rangers the first three seasons of the show so there's the white ranger one and then we also have the red ranger helmet here to go along with it so of course they have made the larger version of this so i now have this you know full to scale version and the smaller one here as well 
And so I think this looked really cool. Again, they put in all the details and stuff that they could. Have the latches again, and it's on the base as well. And this time it says Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. Again, from the first three seasons of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers there. So that looks really cool. I like all the detail. But these are just nice display pieces. Both of these together, you just sit them, you know, and they're just displays. They don't do anything. You can't play with them or do that, anything like that. They're just nice display pieces. And our last thing here is what I could, wasn't able to fit in the screen, but we have the original Automorphin Power Rangers here, as you can see. So these are remakes of the original, so on the bottom here it says Automorph Green Ranger Legacy Collection. So I have these still in the box because I'm not going to open these. I want to take them out like the outside box, but leave them on the like cardboard, the backing, and then the plastic and everything. Because, and I'll show you why here in a second of why I want to do that, but I really like these at all. Of course, these were made back in 94. Four, I want to say let's flip around here to see if it says so here's a what they do you know they morph so it can have Tommy's head and it morphs into the Green Ranger which we'll show here in a second so yeah it says it's hard to fit in screen but says automorphic figures were released in the fall of 1994 so these were all the way back from 94 that they released these Rangers and we had a couple of them as a kid um, I forget who we, I remember us having, but I know we had some, but I, like I said, I can't remember. But here we have Tommy, so we have Tommy as the, in the Green Ranger form. He's got the dragon zord, or the dragon look, a coin on his chest, which they never had those on their actual chest. And especially the Green Ranger never had. But um, they always put him on just to add some more detail and help, you know, kids distinguish and add, you know, just more character to the stuff. Then he comes with a blade blaster there and then his dragon dagger as well, which their all their weapons are always grayed out. Like their actual weapons and their blasters are always all white, which I think is kind of weird, but that's just what they do. Then he comes with his chest plate and that's why I said Tommy never had that on his chest because he was always wearing the chest plate there. And then it also comes with the tattoos, so they did this back in the 90s as well. They came with a little tattoo, so you have the dragon coin tattoo there. And it says Real Morphin Action, so you see Tommy's face and then the Power Ranger face there in the back. So there, I just wanted to show that. Of course, it says Tommy there on the bottom as well. And it's got all the Rangers down at the top like the originals did, made by Bandai and all that sort of stuff. Which I do know that Bandai did sell to Hasbro. At, it was announced at the latest uh, toy fair, whatever it was, New York toy fair, whatever it's called. And so Bandai will no longer be making. They've made Power Rangers since the very first ones back in the 93 or whatever. And so they've been making them ever since then. And now it's going to be made by Hasbro. So this will probably be like, this year will be the last set of the Legacy line. Because I believe it's next year that they switch over to Hasbro. So there we have the Green Ranger. Then next up we have the Red Ranger here. Oops, sorry. Here as well. So we have um, Jason here. And so you can see he's the Red Ranger. He's got this um, T-Rex coin on his chest. And he's got the Blade Blaster and the Power sword there again all grayed out the uh, t-rex tattoo and, and then his face there so jason going into the power ranger or to his version that's automorph from power rangers jason whoops jason and then there's a look on the back of what they do so transform from jason into the power ranger and rotating back and again same thing fall of 1994 so there's jason and the last set they one they released in this set was the pink ranger kimberly and so we got the Pink Ranger in her outfit with the Pterodactyl coin, Blade Blaster, and Power Bow there, which is kind of cool, which I'll show you here in a minute, that um, if you get all the weapons, they can all combine into the Power Blaster, which I think is really cool. She got the Pteranodon uh, tattoo, and then her face there, so Kimberly, which they always give her the headband of her design, so it's got the um, white diamonds on it and the pink and everything transforming in there. Then we got Automorph Ranger Kimberly, the Pink Ranger. And on the back again, 94, turns from Kimberly into Power Ranger and then back again. And so I was telling you, I'm going to show you because I have the original set here. So I have these original three. I have the whole set. Oops, they're losing. So all their Blade Blasters always fall out because the, um, uh, whatever things are not the best. Sheets or, um, holsters are not the best. So I have the whole line here. Unfortunately, my, um, Tommy does not have the chest piece. So when I got it, because these are all used. I bought these out of Toy Star Kokomo Toys and Collectibles because, you know, I shop there a lot. And I get uh, pretty much all my pa old Power Ranger stuff. That anything that's not been released in the last, you know, few years years i get from them and so we have all the morphers here so these are the original 94 versions um, i don't know if you can see there it says 93 bandai and all that sorts of stuff so we have it so again he's got the blade blaster here and so you can see the all white version they put a lot of detail in it they just don't paint the whole thing in the different colors 
but it does have a hole there because if you don't know about these in their hands they do have holes or little pegs in their hands so you can take the weapons stick them in and push them onto the peg I don't know if this one even works for that or not um, but it fits in there and so then you can be holding a gun then he's got the dragon dagger there as well again it's got a hole so it can hold it and then for the automorphin so you push down on their morpher here so it opens up their chest and then you push their head back because when you do it it opens the back as well as you can see so you just flip it around so as you can see we there have tommy now so we have tommy and then you just want to press it this is really cool ah now he's a power ranger so he just morphed into the green ranger there so we have the green ranger and the same goes for Jason, the Red Ranger. Here you can just press down on the oops, his sword fell out. And so now you have Jason. And then you just press the Morpher and he trans oh, kind of got stuck. And so it transforms into the Red Ranger. Let's see if we can do that again, maybe. It feels kind of sticky. Of course, these are from 94 or whatever. So there it goes. And so he transformed or morphed, I should say, into the Red Ranger. And again, you have the weapon or the sword going into his hand on the peg and everything. And so there's the Red Ranger, and then we got the Pink Ranger, Kimberly. And so we can switch her head out as well into Kimberly. So this one does not have the diamonds on her head. So that's probably one of the new things they added into it just to add more detail. So instead of just the pink band, they put the diamonds on to look like the chest and everything. So we're going to morph her, and there now she's the Pink Ranger, and her power bow fell out of her hand. So with the power bow, like I said, it would be nice if we had the whole line, but this is all they've released so far. So you can see we got the peg, so we can put the, you know, the saber tooth, or the um, power daggers, the power lance of Billy's going on there. And then this sits on top of the um, power axe of Zach's, and so it can, you know, all fit together and just turn into the power blaster. And then, of course, Jason's sword sits on top of it, holding it all together, kind of. And so I really like that about this thing. That's probably one of my favorite things about these is that you can combine them all together. And I do have them all. It's just obviously since this is just, they only came out with these three, that's all that I brought down to do. And so if they ever release the others, I'll show those to you well. Because like I said, I'm going to keep these in the packaging and stuff. So I wanna don't want to open them. And since I already have them already, I don't really need to. But that's going to be it for this first wave of this year's Legacy Collection of the new Power Ranger set. Which again, this year... I don't know if this will be the last one. I think they've come out with other um, the morphers, the rest of them, and then other like the legacy figures, the six inch ones and stuff. So we got more coming out, um, but who knows what they'll turn out to next year once it switch over to Hasbro and everything. But that's it for this first wave. Let me know in the comments down below which of the, these figures or any of the figures, the Zords or anything like that, you like the most or what's your opinion on like the Zords, like the T-Rex and the Sabertooth and stuff like that. And if you wish they would combine together into the Megazord and all that sort of stuff. But let me know that in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to see more Power Ranger videos. And we'll see you next time.